Hi, this is Eric Sloof and I'm reporting from the VMworld 2012. We are at the bookstore and at this moment there's a book signing going on with some very famous authors. I already see Mike Leverick, Mustafa Cahill, Harley Stegner and Bill Ferguson. And those authors have written some pretty good books. We're going to interview them one by one and see what their books are all about. I'm here with, uh, with Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi. You have written the VCP5 official certification guide. Uh, if you want to prep for the exam, and I've heard that the exam is very difficult to pass for, this is your resource? Absolutely. Yeah, what I wanted to do is to write it as a study buddy approach. Uh, sometimes technical books, not all the time, but sometimes technical books can get dry. And uh, so what I wanted to do is write one where it's like I'm sitting down right next to the person and it's like they're in my class, but it's one on one. You want to learn the material, but you want to have some fun as well. Because uh, when you've been in the classes with the VCIs, VCIs are a lot of fun. And so the rest of the study should be fun as well. And so I wrote it directly to the, the uh, blueprint. So uh, the blueprint is, is your biggest you know, guide for you know, passing the test. The students you know, need to know the blueprint. And the blueprint won't change uh, until the next major revision of the, of the software. So it's good for 5.0 and, and 5.1. And so uh, you know, that's, that's, that's the, way, the way I did it. So that if they follow uh, through the book, then they will have gone through the blueprint, but they will, will have gone through it with a VCI by their side. Awesome, awesome. So if you're aiming to pass for your VCP5 certification, you definitely need this book. So next to the next, uh, on to the next author. Uh, hi, hi. Har Harley, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm quickly diving through the, 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 all the awesome books and you have written Managing and Optimizing VMware vSphere Deployments. Is it, uh, is it a design guide? Um, it's, uh, so I, I uh, co-authored with uh, my colleague, Sean Crookston, and where we work, I take care of kind of the design architecture aspects and he takes care of kind of the implementation. Um, so we really approached it as not necessarily a how to deploy, but we have some design aspects walking from the original uh, design all the way through implementation and managing the infrastructure. So if you are preparing for your uh, VCAP DCD or are you aiming on going for VCDX, is it a good resource? Um, We'd like to think so. Uh, we have heard from those who have read it that it really helped them prepare for the DCD. And so, um, like I said, it's, it's not necessarily a how-to, uh, step-by-step, it's more best practices related. So definitely a lot of theory in there, uh, as well as some practical advice. Best practices and a great learning, learning resource if you are aiming to go for VMware Cert Advanced Professional Data Center. The DCD, where does DCD stands for? Data Center Design. Cool, thanks. Thank you. So next up is the guru of storage. His name is Mustafa Cahill. He has been working for VMware for a very long time. His book is very thick, and I've heard that if it was up to you, it was even thicker? Yes, actually, they said if it goes beyond this uh, size, it would have been uh, hardcover, would have make it very expensive. It will be too awesome? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the, so I decided to defer most of the rest into the second volume. That I'm going to start working on very soon. So we can expect a second volume, but what's in volume one? Volume one, I start with the foundations with the different storage protocols and different types of block devices, and uh, then move up to uh, the uh, PSA architecture and multipathing, fillover, and how to configure uh, uh, claim rules and customizing claim rules. And then cover Aloha, which is uh, uh, another storage. Uh, standard that we, we support, then move up to uh, uh, heterogeneous storage arrays, cover VMFS file system, uh, detailed uh, information about the what I can share with the public about the file system architecture, how file how locking is handled, how we handle snapshot LUNs, how we handle virtual machine snapshots. Uh, uh, we also, uh, also then cover uh, standards like uh, uh, VAI okay. for uh, hardware uploading. That sounds great. M many thanks, Mustafa. Many thanks. I'm looking forward to reading your book because it was released at this VM World. I've I've learned. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So last step is Mike Leverick. Mike, 
when I came to the stand, I, I saw your name and I thought, who is this Mike Leverick? I heard this the, guy. who is this guy? This new kid on the block. Eh? <laughs> the new kid on the block. You're, right, you're working for VMware these days? Yes, I am. I uh, joined the company just three weeks ago. I'm, I'm still very much the new boy though. So uh, they've got me making cups of tea and uh, sweeping up at the end of the day until they kind of bring me into the fold properly. Is you already uh, are in, in the stadium of taking care of John Troy sandwiches? Yeah, yeah, and you know, making people cups of tea and making little sandwiches for people is like my main role at the moment. Okay. So you have written an awesome book. It's the su successor of uh, the VMware Site Recovery Manager 1.0, I think. I wrote a and one 4, and a right, right. So, if people so remember, I, I first started writing about SRM when it was in the alpha releases, uh, when it was actually a VI3 product. Um, what's new in this book is um, I managed to uh, add in another storage vendor into the book. So previously I'd not done any work with Dell Ecologix. So we now have Dell, NetApp, EMC and HP in the book. So we're being much more like uh, storage neutral than I've ever been before. And of course there's brand new features in SRM5 such as vSphere replication and the auto failback uh, feature. And that's a great feature. What I found with the auto failback uh, feature was what I used to write in 60 pages because it's so much easier than it used to be, it was only 25 pages to write on that particular thing. So I was saying, you know, VMware, stop making the product too easy to use. Otherwise, what will Mike Maverick write for, for uh, SRM version 6 when it comes out? Right, right. So you're known to giving away books for free or for good charity. This one is available for VMware Press. Do you recommend users buying it? Oh yeah, and I would have to say this was the very first ever book on the VMware Press, so Mike Leverick, number first there. The other thing I'd like to do, I know this is a VMware Press event, but I have done another book recently for charity. It's all about VMware View, uh, ThinApp, Horizon, and also uh, ThinApp Factory. Um, the book isn't here, unfortunately, in VMware. Is it, is it the one that is available for download at Lulu? For download at Lulu uh, for just 10 books, and we'll have a hard copy within a week's time. And all the royalties will go to UNICEF from that particular book. So I'm carrying on doing a mixture of free books and a mixture of uh, commercial ones. But when we say free, it's the author doesn't get any royalties, the publisher doesn't make any money, the money goes all to UNICEF instead. That's just awesome, Mike. Many thanks. So, I bumped into two other authors, two famous authors, and they are the writers of this book, VMware vSphere PowerCLI Reference. And this book is well known because everyone who's working with PowerCLI must own this book. The most famous guy, and he already has an answer on the forums before you even can think about a question, is Luke Deacons. Hi, Luke. Hi, Eric. And another famous guy who recently joined VMware is Alan Renouf. How's it going, Eric? I'm doing fine. So, Luke, uh, can you uh, tell me about the book? Is it a nice reading book for, for bedtime or is it pure a reference guide? Well, it's a bit of both. In fact, we the, the concept behind this book is that you shouldn't read it from page one till page uh, 700 and something. Uh, what we try to do is we try to uh, cover every aspect of managing your vSphere environment and how you could automate this with the help of PowerCLI. So it's, it's a bit of a reference. On the other hand, some of these chapters, if you're into a specific subject, they are a nice read to read them uh, separately. Yeah. Okay, great. So, Alan, if we look at the products that are uh, uh, created by VMware, a lot of those products are configured through PowerCLI. Can you name a few? Yeah, sure. So we've got the vSphere uh, product range and vCenter, which you can manage through PowerCLI. Uh, that was where we started. We then moved up and you can now do things like auto-deploy and image builder. So you can push your Pixie images over to um, your hosts using uh, PowerCLI. And then we went on and we did the uh, cloud commandlets. So you can now manage vCloud Director. We've got commandlets for Update Manager. Um, and you can use PowerShell itself to access APIs and various other tools which enable you to uh, automate a lot of our products actually. Great, many thanks guys. I love your book and you should read it, definitely.